I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to tell you about Candida and biofilms. I've mentioned biofilms occasionally in the past, specifically when I'm talking about enzymes and enzyme therapy, but it's important to mention them also in regards to candida. So biofilms can develop in the gut, particularly in the large intestine, and what they are are these complex gelatinous compounds created by microorganisms that give these microorganisms the protection while helping them to adhere to the intestinal walls and crevices. So you can think of these biofilms as like a sticky web produced by candida colonies. And dentists actually refer to biofilm as plaque. That's another way to think of them there. The inability to penetrate these biofilms is why many candida therapies actually fail to work. Natural enzymes like serapeptase and specific foods like turmeric and beetroot can be used to disperse these films and are often a key component in dealing with the problem. Many species of bacteria form biofilms in response to antibiotics to help them survive an attack. This was just considered a stress response from the bacteria and one of the unfortunate side effects of antibiotics, but new research, however, shows that some antibiotics themselves stimulate the formation of biofilms, regardless of any ability they may have to destroy bacteria. So what this really means is that as antibiotics are becoming less and less effective at killing bacteria, they are actively promoting the creation of biofilms in the body. And again, pathogenic bacteria hide and flourish in these protective biofilm structures. So taking enzymes with meals and also on an empty stomach, this really helps to break down the polysaccharides, the proteins, and all the other compounds, the chitin-based cellulose-like compounds that form the matrix that biofilms are largely made of. Other natural supplements that can help include the papain enzyme from papaya, bromelain from pineapple, and natto kinase also, which is from the fermented soy food natto. And being a fermented soy food, the fermentation often negates the problems we typically see with soy. The best enzyme, as I've said before, is actually serapeptase, which is a multifunction enzyme that breaks down mucus, dead protein, and also fibrin, and as I've said, is probably one of the best biofilm disruptors of all time. With severe chronic cases of candida overgrowth, many people experience a flood of toxins as the yeast dies off, and these symptoms can be similar to those of a flu. It's something like headache and gas and bloating and constipation or diarrhea, skin rashes, mood swings, any of these unpleasant symptoms can really be symptoms of a candida die-off. And one way to minimize this is to take a high-grade protease enzyme on an empty stomach because what the protease enzyme will do is it'll actually actively digest these dead, decaying, putrefying compounds from the dead candida that are causing the die-off symptoms. And if you pair that protease enzyme with a high-level cellulase enzyme and take both of those, cellulase and protease, together on an empty stomach, the cellulase enzyme will actually break down the outer cell wall of candida which is made of a dense plant compound called chitin. So when your candida population has been reduced and stabilized, it's important that you continue to take a high quality probiotic, eat a diverse diet that is deliberately minimized in sugar and simple carbs, and really do what you can to reduce stress in your life because all of these things propel candida. One of the best things you'll find that really helps you through it, something that I learned personally in my recovery from my sugar addiction, is that you need to find what works for you, but most importantly, you need to be very patient. Candida overgrowth takes its time to manifest, and it absolutely takes its time to leave, even when you treat it every day. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.